Michelle, well, the body exhibit at the St. Louis Galleria is controversial, educational, and for some people, unbelievable. However, as Joy explains in today's Dose of Joy, it might not be as unbelievable as some of the bodies in Ripley's, believe it or not. Hey, I saw the bodies exhibit when it first came to our St. Louis Science Center, and now that it's at the Galleria, I want to see it again. So my daughter told me I'd probably like something she found in her Ripley's Believe It or Not book. She showed me a picture of a man who did something so unbelievable, I still can't believe it. And he wasn't even a politician. This man was a wood carver from some tiny country who carved a statue of himself that was so completely accurate, it appeared convincingly lifelike in the most minute detail. Believe it or not, he plucked the actual hairs from his real body, all the hairs, and put them into corresponding tiny pores on the statue. Then, believe it or not, he pulled out his real fingernails and toenails and added them to the statue. And then, believe it or not, he actually pulled out his own teeth to add to the statue. But that wasn't even the most believe it or not part. The most believe it or not part was that he made it to be a present for his wife. Let's see. For my last birthday, my husband gave me, believe it or not, a popcorn popper. That's right. No lifelike statue with his real body parts pulled off. But hey. I'm not bitter, because I know when that man gave his wife that statue of himself, I know, believe it or not, she said, I didn't want a statue. I wanted a popcorn popper. I'm Joy Gridnick.